Hey guys, I've got a 2005 Ford Taurus. As you can see, it's missing the mirror there. I cut it off. It came loose and uh, I tried to stick it on with tape and it didn't work. But uh, I'm going to replace that today. Quick note, when you're cutting the mirror off, cut one wire at the time. If you don't cut all the wires at once, you cut them one wire at a time. And the reason for that is it will blow the fuse. And that's another video you don't want to get into. So when you're cutting the mirror off, do not cut all of the wires together. Cut each individual wire separately. Door, inside door panel off. You've got a few screws to take loose. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. There's two under here. There's one here. There's one here. And as you can see, there's one under the door. Right there. One right there. And there's going to be one right there. Take those off. It's pretty basic. And there's two pins that hold the whole door in here. You snap those in and it lines up the screw holes to the other ones. Then you take a flathead screwdriver and you pop this off. You remove this panel and that will give you access to the bolts which the new mirror comes with. <laughs> Phillips screwdriver like this takes some of the work out of it. When you get those screws off, this door panel pops off as you can see. And there's the little center action there. And then there's clips on the side. Clips at the top. Clips there. And when you put it back on, make sure you thread this back through and then the handle back through. To take the door panel off, the reason you do is these clips, one links to the power locks, the other one's to the power windows. And then, of course, to the power window uh, mirror that we're going to be replacing. These off, you're going to have two little bolts. One right there and one inside there that you're going to have to take off as well. The size bolt or six millimeter for these to take off. You take the weather strip off. There's three bolts. One in there. One in there and one there. Those are the bolts that actually take the mirror off and attach the mirror to the car. Off, and I need a 10 millimeter wrench. And I'm looking in there, and wouldn't you know, the 10 millimeter is missing. You get the mirror off, it sort of looks like this. And we're ready to put the new one on. Yeah, I got the new mirror. Hey, and I got my grandson Fernando he's helping me okay so we've got this you want to fish this wire through there first so you can connect it then you connect it, the three bolts use the same bolts uh, that it came with or the nuts that came with it the bolts uh, come with the mirror there's no nuts so just so you know, you will not use the old gasket. The new mirror comes with a gasket that's on there already. So you will not use the old one. It comes with one. When you get it back, you put the bolts back in place. Tighten them up. Just like that. Okay, when you reassemble the door, you just go backwards. You operate backwards so that when you take this Put this back on next and then put the uh, clips back in, attach the door back and just backwards from where you were before.